Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Crystal and my channel name is Crittle Bubs and thanks for stopping by. Um, today I'm just going to do a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I've been in and out a little bit throughout the last week or two and yes, they're bringing finally some of their good Easter decor and their spring decor. So I kind of separated the items that I want to share on a few different videos. So today I'm going to do more of the spring stuff. So if you see something you like, hopefully you can run out and get it. Got a little bit of a glare from my outside window there. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm going to start with a truck. And this one is your pink truck, and it says fresh flowers on it. Um, this is the only one that I came across in several of my stores. I believe there's also a lilac colored one, but I did not see it. I only saw the pink. But so that's super pretty. I really, really enjoy that they're coming out with so many themes of the truck for each of the seasons and holidays. So. Anyone who's a truck lover, there's lots to be had. So that's really fun. And then I found one of the summer ones, which they're also calling spring decor, but no rhyme or reason to that. But look how beautiful this one is with the watermelons. So again, there's also another one in this set, which I did not see or come across yet, but it's green and it has the strawberries. So for now, I only found the watermelon one. So how cute are those? They're just so fantastic. I love them. And look at, I'm just noticing now, even the truck beds are different. So you see, I love this. I love how they do the uh, take on the railings. This one doesn't have it. So yeah, they are, they are not making them abs absolutely duplicate at all. So yeah, I just love that they're all different in their own way. So, love those, love, love, love. And um, this one I was waiting for. This cute little cutting board type um, wall decor. Again, this, is, oh, they call this the Easter decor. But this is something I would hang in my kitchen year round because it doesn't tell me Easter. It doesn't say anything about Easter. Um, I just think that is fabulous. So they did have the second version of this, which was a basket of Easter eggs. And I think it said the Cottontail Farms on it as well. But how pretty are these? So nice. I'm really loving, loving, loving what they're coming out with. Keeping up with the times and the trends and just putting smiles on all our faces. And um, the thrill of the hunt is so exciting too. Like. I just want to go every day and see what's new, but I don't. <laughs> I would love to, but I don't. So yeah, it's more or less a hit and miss. I guess that's the whole reasoning behind getting the gnomes or not getting the gnomes. And apparently there's nice tall Easter rabbits this year. Um, I don't know that Canada got the tall gnomes over Christmas, so I'm not sure if we'll get the tall Easter bunnies as well, but I've seen different people dressing them up and DIYing them, so that's in the back of my mind. If if I do come across them, I'd like to uh, make them a couple, so lots of ideas up here. Um, these are fantastic. So these are your paper lanterns, but they're battery operated. Okay, so down here in the bottom, there's a place for two AAAs. This one says Hello Spring with the floral wreath around it. Just gorgeous. Um, they had two more, so I put this one together to show you guys. This one is like butterflies and flowers, and it's nice size. Like it does come together nicely. And I put my lights in, but I don't think you'll be able to see it. Um, I've had too much LED light happening on my ceiling light here. But yeah, there is a difference of the light. But when people shine them or turn them on in their videos and dim their lights, they're fantastic. The other one that I did not get um, had a bunch of birds on it. So florals, but bigger birds. And they're just gorgeous. How pretty, 
for a dollar twenty-five. Yes, awesome. Love them. Um, I also saw a review on this candle specifically this series that they have a fantastic throw. Um, she said they're the best throw of a Dollar Tree candle she's had. So I just picked up the ice cream sprinkle scent. I have not lit it yet, but they're very, very nice, sweet fragrance to them. Um, I don't remember the fourth scent, but I know the other two out of the four were Candied Violet which is kind of odd to me. Who wants to smell candied flowers? <laughs> That's just a weird combination, I'm sorry. And I think the other one was like coconut macaroon, but I can't remember the fourth one. But um, if I come across it and I like that scent, I'll probably pick it up too. But I should just give this one a whirl first and a beautiful jar you're left with afterwards. So that's that. Um, I picked up these sponge dabbers. I've been seeing more crafters using these when they're using their stencils and I just thought, okay, I need to add that to my stash because it just makes it so much easier imprinting a stencil, <coughs> excuse me, on a craft instead of trying to uh, use a paintbrush as I would probably do. <laughs> I have something in mind for this. It is just the sand and it just, it's that lavender color and I have something brewing in my mind for Easter. So I'll show you for sure how it turns out. So I just love that color. If they had pink in there as well, or even the yellow, I would have grabbed it, but they had like a deep red and a green and a sand tone so these were this was the only spring color that the store I was at jumped out at me so and it's a good size it's 350 grams so that's a good size um, I was looking for some orange napkins and couldn't really come across any in my store but then out of the corner of my eye I found this fantastic gift wrap and look at that orange and cream triangle so it's gonna be I bet even better than the napkin idea I have so again I will definitely show you what I do with this so excited to try that out um, they had a little clearance buggy again near the front and I hadn't yet picked these up but I had bought a bunch of the clear stamps so I thought let me just try this so it's the card and envelope set with six sets in there and this is how it looked it was ripped open or whatever i ended up counting five cards six envelopes but then they threw in this two pack of butterfly so for 50 cents yes i like that idea so i grabbed that so i'll try my uh, clear stamps on this and maybe create a card and see how how uh, my hand crafting ability turns out on that one and then two final things is all for today is this gorgeous gorgeous wall art so I love the three words on there faith hope and love so they could easily be transferred onto a wood piece um, I've been buying all those uh, round shapes and the square shapes from Dollarama and just to do a little bit of painting on the background and then throwing one of these words on there would just be fantastic. So that is if they fit. They are kind of large, but I thought they're so pretty. So yes, I got that. And then the last thing I picked up because I seen somebody do a jewelry declutter and she had purchased these hanging jewelry bags and I have lots of these big kind of earrings and right now I just throw them in one of the big glass Dollarama vases or jars with the screw lid because they do bend and twist and everything so they're not getting damaged but I have to dump the whole jar out to get the set of earrings every time I want to wear a pair so what she had had was the jewelry hanger and there were individual clear slots to put your each 
uh, set of earrings in. So in the teaching tree section, I seen they had these and it's the similar concept. So they have all these little shelves of plastic. So what I wanna do is, um, I got two. So I wanna put them back to back so that I have a dual sided one. And I wanna somehow either hot glue sections between each of these um, plastic, um, on top of the plastic to make se separate sections for each pair of earrings. Now, it's not a very deep pocket if you can see where it ends there, but we'll see how it turns out. And yeah, either, either a hot glue or a crazy glue. I'm not sure exactly how. I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit, maybe at the bottom where it's not so um, visible and I can try it out and see how it turns out and uh, I'll get back to you with that as well so anyways guys that's all I have for today uh, I hope everyone's staying safe and warm um, there's blizzards and snowstorms and power outages everywhere it seems right now but um, we're in a higher power so just trust in the Lord anyways guys thanks for sharing your time with me and we'll see you soon take care